back to another episode of Cindy's Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. Behind the camera is my son, Michael. <laughs> and this little spot that you see here is my kitchen. So, as I told you the other day, no, I called the super to come in and uh, change the light. I did try to change the light under here, but it didn't work. So, I had it to, you know, I had to uh, uh, call maintenance so they can come, but they haven't because that's how they are. They're very slow. But anyways, as you can see here, you see tamales, and they're steaming in that pot. I bought those from a friend of mine that uh, she is really nice, her and her husband. And I found out the other day that... She makes tamales and she sells them and they are, let me tell you, they gave me three of them and if you ask Michael, my son, I ate them in the car, right Mike? They're delicious. So I order 15 of them, chicken, and then I order also 10 pork. So I'm making the chickens, I'm steaming them, and what I'm doing here is a sauce for my tamales. So what this is, is two tablespoons of olive oil, as you can see right here, see, aceite de oliva, right? And then let me turn my fan on. And then this is my garlic. See? Oh yeah. So I don't want it to burn or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta put some water in it. So I'm gonna take a bottle of water that Michael gave me. And it was damn. Sorry. Oh, we opened that. So what I'm gonna do is back up Michael because this is gonna jump a little bit. I'm gonna put water in here. Let me put the, the flame up first or the temperature up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this water and I'm going to pour it. This is going to be needed for the sauce, you know? So I'm going to be careful, Mikey. Don't worry, I don't want you, nothing happening to you, bud. Okay, so that should do, you know? So then we're going to start just adding all the stuff that we want for our sauce. First, we're going to put some oregano. Mm -hmm. Put that oregano right in there. You can uh, uh, oh, yeah. just uh, crush it in between your fingers. And as soon as you crush it, because it's really good oregano, you can have, get that smell. I'm also going to put some cumin powder. And I got to make sure that I put, you know, a little bit, like, okay, like a couple of, uh, one big tablespoon of cumin. It's very strong, but you have to add it up there. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of black pepper and just like that. A little bit of salt because I don't want to go over see so I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt like that and we're also gonna put chili pepper right Michael oh we'll yeah. show everybody um, I bought a whole bunch of these uh, these things what do you call these Michael I forgot uh, glass jars the jars and uh, at the supermarket they sell the seasonings the powder season is the good one by the ounce, so it's actually like 38 cents, 58 cents. Sometimes some spices have a little bit more, but this is very good. It was 44 cents for an ounce, and it cost me like a dollar something. I got to fill this, and I still have some more left in my food pantry. So we're gonna take a spoon, because this is chili pepper, and I wanna put a little bit, what do you think, Mike? That's oh, yeah. good? Bam, like that. Like put that. it in, put it's it in. It's going to, exactly. The color is gonna change immediately. And then, I know this is going to sound weird, but this is chocolate. These, um, you take them out, and this is what it's going to look like. I just cut, you know, three quarters of one chocolate, and I'm going to put it in the sauce because I want to change the, uh, the structure of the sauce. Like, it's going to be hot, but then it's going to have that chocolatey, kind of like dark color that it gets. So, I forgot to tell you guys that this is sauce that I'm making for my tamales. This is tamal sauce. Tamal sauce for uh, for tamales. So you can put your thing on the top. So you, as you can see, I put the chocolate in there already, see? Oh yeah. You know, I should have put the whole chocolate in my I still have a little piece here. I think that's good, mom. Right? Yeah. Now I'm gonna put the whole thing. All right. Because it does change the structure of the sauce. Smoky. Yeah, exactly, but can you smell it? Yeah, it smells good. That's a great fragrance. Fragrant, that's how you say it, Mike? Fragrance. So this chocolate, actually, to buy it in the supermarket, doesn't have to be this one necessary, but just a piece of chocolate. If it has sugar, it's better. That way you don't have to add the chocolate and the sugar. And uh, what we're going to do is, is move this, okay? And it's going to take a little bit, so we have, we're going to have to let it simmer. So I'm going to let it simmer. I'm going to lower, and I'm going to let it simmer, guys. For, hold on a second, we haven't put uh, the chili 
sauce yet, which is going to give it a kick, but I want to wait almost until the end. And I'm going to put some red pepper flakes. I just like to make it nice and spicy because when it's nice and spicy, everything is really, really good. That's and right. then I also have here a little bit of cornstarch. Come here, Michael. Okay, I took just a little bit, like a quarter of a cup of cornstarch and a little bit of cold water. Make sure it's cold water and you stir it for thickening the sauce later on. We will be doing that together. But for now, I'm going to put this on low. I'm going to cover it and we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, don't go away. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Almost done, guys for coming back so that was only like four minutes so you see I lower it because it's starting to reduce and I tasted this so while we were gone I put two tablespoons of rice vinegar because I needed to break the uh, the flavors you know what I'm saying it has the chocolate it has the chili and the cumin the oregano the olive oil the garlic everything but it needed something like bam like to give it that kick you know what I'm talking about that's right but anyways here is uh, my um uh, my thing, my cornstarch that I prepare with the cold water because I want to thicken, excuse me. Yeah, it's too watery, okay? So I just want to thicken it a little bit. So you just put a little bit of a time when you thicken the sauce, just like that. We got to bring the broth up, be careful, Michael, okay? And it tells you within seconds. Look how thick it's getting within seconds, okay? Probably don't see it, but I do. Yeah. I'm going to lower it again. Okay, look at the, the consistency now. See that, Mike? I think we should leave it like that or you want it thicker? What do you think? No, it looks good. You want it thicker? You think that's good? Or that is going to say it's too watery? I really don't mind. Me neither. But I don't like it too thick. Because then you really don't have sauce to moister. You know what I'm saying? The tamales that we got over there. Look at them tamales. So anyway, like I said, my friend made those. And let me tell you, the day that I tried it, it was so delicious. I'm turning this off because I think it's uh, time to take this off. I'm just going to put this here. Whoa, I almost fell, Michael. It's wet over there. So uh, I'm going to take... Where are we going to put the sauce? In one of these? Yep. Oh, yeah. You okay, Mom? There. No, I'm not. I almost fell. I'm going to have to take... Look. This Water. Is, yeah, I know. Okay, this is dirty now. So just look. So you show everybody... Wow, uh, look at that. Rag. Come on. So what we're gonna do, guys, now is I'm gonna take this. Okay, excuse me, Michael. You gotta move, Mike. Oh, I don't know why you do that. Trying to block me all the time. Wow, well, I don't think we needed to uh, get it more thick than that, right? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because then we get it too thick, you know. So this is gonna be my tamale sauce, guys. That I just made, made it myself. I don't like buying this thing in the supermarket. I have a problem with things that are like pre-packaged. You never know how long they've been there. And sometimes, most of the time, they put like ch the shelf time, like, uh, you know that spray that they spray the food with, you know? Uh, GMO. So they can last longer, so it's not, you understand what I'm saying? When you get this fresh like this, it's the best thing. I'm going to take one tamal, guys, okay? Sorry, I've been talking a lot today. Like, you know what? I've always been a talker like that. What do you say, Mike? That's Look right. Look at this tamal, guys. Look at that. It has the haas. I mean, I wish you guys were here so you guys can smell this. Look at that. My husband loved these. Wait until... Look at that. That masa, which is the corn, you know? And then you take your, uh, your spoon. I'm coming. Mama's going to be here. And you take your spoon and you go like that with that little beautiful sauce like that, you know, that stick like that from the chocolate. And then we take, uh, oh, my mouth is uh, getting watery. Look at the tamal, Michael. Oh, look at this. It's a chicken tamal. And if you want to put more sauce, that's why I made the broth. You put more, but this is for me. I'm going to try it right now. I already have before, but this is a new batch that she made for me last night. Mm. Mmm, I love this. Mmm. Oh, it's so delicious. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Learn how to make your tamar sauce. It's very easy. If you don't understand it, you can go click down below 
and I think Michael wrote down all the ingredients that we use for this. That's right. Always in the description, mm. guys. And then, mm, I would do this. Sorry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Burn my mouth. I always do that because I get excited. This is also gluten free. It has there's no flour involved whatsoever. It's all corn. Okay, and your seasonings and nothing that is going to uh, hurt you or anything is delicious and the sauce is unbelievable. Mm. Hold on. So you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the chicken that's inside is just perfect. So with that, I love you all. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google Plus, on Pinterest. If you want to donate, you can go to Patreon down below. Donate whatever you want from a dollar to a hundred dollars or more. Thanks for watching. Don't drip and drive and learn how to do make your tamale sauce that is very easy and very simple. Have a great day. Have a wonderful Saturday. Love you all.